Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and iOS 18 beta 1 has finally been released and it's an amazing update with a lot of cool new features, a lot of customization options and of course the new AI features which will come later this year. So if you have seen the presentation of iOS 18, you probably have seen a lot of cool new features but it's always a lot more that Apple didn't talk about. And we're starting things off with the control center. Center. So once you head on to the control center, you will see that we have a totally new control center with iOS 18. And right there at the top right corner, you will see a button. Well, that's basically a button that allows you to turn off your device. So you no longer need to go to your settings or press any of the physical buttons. You just tap that button right there. You will be able to power off your device. And it also has a new power off sound. So when you when you turn off your device, you will also hear a new sound. On the new control center, you will also find a new UI for the flashlight. So when you tap and hold the flashlight, you will see this new button right there, which allows you to actually slide up and down to turn up or turn down the intensity of the flashlight on your iOS 18 device. There is also another update on the control center, the interface right here when you go to your privacy controls, you will see a totally new interface which shows you which apps are basically using your camera and then it shows you all the things here, all the details like of course the different modes you can enable or disable from the control center. On the notes app on iOS 18, you will be able to now colorize your text. So we have a color there, we can just tap the format button right here and pick any different color we want for that text. It's actually pretty cool to be able to do that. And then of course, if you have other words that you want to select, you can just go ahead and format them with any other color that you want. So even you have like a few different words on one sentence, you can have different colors for each of those. And the calculator app has finally been updated with iOS 18. Now this is the new calculator app and what you can do here is now convert stuff. So all you have to do is tap this calculator button right there. You can enable convert and then it takes you back to the calculator app. You can see here the currency. Of course you can tap there to switch between any currency you want. But what you can also do is choose what you want to convert. So it will have power, length, speed, temperature, time, volume, weight, anything you want to convert. You can just go ahead and do that from here. So as easy as that, you can convert any units you want. Now the old trick where you can just swipe like this to actually delete a number on the calcula calculator app doesn't work anymore. But Apple has actually added a back button which allows you to delete any number you want on the calculator app. On the phone app, when you go to your recent calls, you can now search for your recent calls. You can of course search based on the name of the contact you're searching or maybe even the phone number. So you will have a search field right there at the top. You just type the number right there, the phone number or the contact's name and it will show you all the recent calls from that contact. The Photos app has been updated with a ton of new features on iOS 18 and one of them right here are the new controls for video playing. So when you go to play a video, you will see now you have a scrubber right here that allows to easily move through the video and also you will have the new play and pause button and also a button where you can mute or unmute any video that you're watching. Now one thing I really like about the Photos app is that it allows you to filter your screenshots while you're taking a look at your pictures. Now screenshots do take a ton of space on the photos and when you're searching for like photos to have taken with your iPhone, you can now just filter out your screenshots. So you go right there to these like arrows, you tap on view options and you can enable or disable screenshots as easy as that. You can also choose different view modes for your photos. You will have this button right here. So all you have to do is tap on the button and it allows you to show a summary of the photos that are on that album or you can just go ahead and show all the photos. 
Now the Photos app has also some other updates when it comes to utilities. Now under utilities on the Photos app, you will have now things like recipes, which is pretty cool to have it here. So these are basically automatically categorized of course into different sections you will have your handwriting your illustrations and the qr codes as well and then you will have also a folder here for your recently saved and you will have the recently viewed recently edited shared your documents and also imports and photos from the map if you have those they will be displayed right there now one app that has gotten probably the most updates but apple didn't talk about is the settings app the settings app has completely been revamped on ios 18 so what you will see right here is a recategorization of different sections of the settings app and you can see right here we have the general if you go to general you can see right there at the top you will have a description which is basically every in every section of the settings app it shows you what you're viewing there and you will have a totally different look i really really like this new look here for the about section the iphone storage and everything else that you have in any section of the settings app another thing right here you can notice that the search and the series section are actually now separated and what i really love about the settings app on ios 18 is that apple has finally removed the apps here from the main page and now they have their own section so you won't have a long list of apps here you will have this section and when you go here you will have your apps you will see the apps are categorized here with letters you can quickly search here based on the letter and also you can now search for those apps directly from the new search bar here Safari has also gotten some new updates with iOS 18. First of all, we have a new menu and a new design for the button right there. Now, when you tap, it doesn't come right here, but it comes from the bottom. Now, what you will see right here are two main buttons where you can listen to the page or show the reader view. Then you will have here the option to search on this page you can change the size of the text right then you will play you will basically have the three dots right there where you will find all the other settings for any web page that you're viewing on safari also on safari when you go to the tabs view you will see here a new design which allows you of course to move between different groups of tabs that you have on safari now when you move all the way here you can again swipe here to create a new group add the name here and add of course a new group of tabs on your ios 18 device a pretty nice change here for the messages app when you send a link on the messages app or when you receive a link you will notice now that actually the here the link this part will be colorized and it will take a color based on the preview of your link that you have sent or received on iMessage now on the home screen if you swipe from the left to the right you will notice now that there is nothing here the legacy widgets have finally been removed from iOS 18 of course you can go ahead and add widgets here you can have widgets the normal widgets that we have on the home screen but the old ones have completely now been removed and on the lock screen when you go to customize your clock you can tap here and now you will have a new color option for your clock also we have a lot more options here for the numbers so the numbers that you see on your lock screen of course we have a ton of different options now to display on the lock screen so these are some of the new hidden features that you will be able to find on the new iOS 18 beta one. If you want to see more videos of more new features that we will discover in the next few days, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a like on this one if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you on the next video.